Hello everyone, Troy Eckerd with Eckerd Lanham Acquisition. We're going to do about a seven minute video regarding revenue cycles. Now this should be one of the most important things you want to hear about and pay attention to because it's probably one of the most asked questions we get. And the question always is, why does it take so long to get revenue from wells that are already in production? And I want to take a couple minutes to explain to you the cycle, what we deal with, and how that system works so perfectly well as a mineral owner. Let's go through the example I've set up for you. First off, I gave you a little graph. The black line is the production of the well that comes out over time. Wells deplete, they run out of oil and gas over 25 to 75 years. So what you produce today, most likely, each day afterwards, it'll produce slightly less because it's like a nice Coca-Cola. Once you take a drink, there's a little less in it. In this case, I've given you a January through December calendar. I've given us an effective production date of January 1st, 2022. And I say to myself, how would I explain revenue to my partners? Here's how it works. Oil company turns their well on in January. At that point, they're not so concerned who owns the interest in the well or who the mineral owners are. They're basically deploying capital, doing the very best well they can, and getting it into production because they want a return on their capital. And they produce the well in January, they produce it in February, they produce it in March. Behind the scenes is a land department who is now taking the process of getting 100% of the ownership, called a division of interest or ownership debt, for the oil company put into place. The oil company takes 100% of the liability and the fiduciary duty to make sure every penny is paid to every owner proportionate to their ownership. They got a lot of responsibility. These are millions of dollars of revenue being generated every month. So once the well comes online, the production department tells the land department, it's time to make sure you have all your ownership decks in line and in row. The land department then notifies the accounting department, hey, we've been working on title, been working on land, we have everything in place, we've got 95% of the ownership cleared, let's go ahead and put it into the pay status at the oil company's level. This has nothing to do with that. We've acquired the minerals with an effective date of the 1st of, of January, which means we started getting money made and we started creating value and cash flow January 1st. So we got production and income, production and income, production and income. About 90 days after the well comes online, the oil company says we're now ready to tell the accounting department they can now put that particular mineral or well into a pay status. It goes into the accounting deck in April. They probably get it distributed in March. And Ecker receives a check probably in the end of May from the oil company. We get our first check, but it's for January, February, and March. We don't get our money for April, May, and June, even though we're looking at a May check, because oil and gas is sold at the end of every month. The buyer of the oil and gas has to pay the oil company. They've got to process it, and then they've got to run it through their accounting to pay all the downstream owners. It's a large, large operation. Think about running a 30 or 300 unit apartment complex. It takes time to collect the rent, pay the bills, and distribute the cash. No different than oil and gas. So the first revenue check is sent by the oil company on May the 15th. It comes into Eckerd's office. Now, we have to process everything that's on that revenue statement, make sure that our interest is correctly recorded, the right percentages, the right ownership, the right wells, so we have an internal land department, we have our own internal accounting department, and that's what they're doing here in the month of May. Once that check is entered into our system with our internal owners and investing partners, we then are able to distribute our first check, in this example, on June the 25th. Now let's go back and repeat that. A June 25th distribution is probably for three months worth of production from the first check we got from the oil company. Now, the next thing happens is we send a check out to you. You either get it by ACH, you get a check in the green envelope, and Ecker has now paid all of its rightful owners for that particular well and that particular mineral interest. How long before I get the second check? The very next month on July the 25th. Except you get a bulk check for three months at the highest level of production. The next check you get should be at least one third as much as the first check because it's only one month. And when you get that check, in this case it's going to be July 25th, it's one check. It's one month worth of revenue. So if everything stayed static, production, commodity prices, I would expect one third as big a check as I got the first time on my second check. Here's the good news. Every barrel of oil, every molecule of gas is accounted for. 
All the production is being monitored and the fiduciary duty and the management of these billion dollar companies we partner with, they're making sure that everybody's getting paid according to the actual physical ownership deed and title. Once we get into pay status, nothing will change in this well for 50 to 75 years or however long it lasts. When they add another well, a second, a third, or fourth, or fifth, they're going to go back and say, has any ownership changed at all with Eckerd? Nope. Eckerd owns what they've owned. They've not sold anything. It's the same interest. So well number two, three, four, five, 10, 15 are now run through the system based on the same percentage, same cycle. Every new well goes to the same 60 day, 90 day, 180 day of production, and about a six month pay cycle. No matter how fast they go, that is the process from the oil company for Eckerd receiving the cash and getting our distributions out to you, our investing partners. Let me summarize this particular presentation with two things. There are so many checks and balances along the way, production, metering, gas buyers, oil buyers, recording the federal government, recording the state of Oklahoma, state of Texas. There's so much going on. And then we have our own app that we created that's tracking all this information as well. The whole idea is there's so many checks and balances. We know at any given point in time along the revenue cycle, how much oil and gas we've been paid for, the prices that the oil and gas have been sold in those particular months because we have the supporting check and the register for all those buys and sales and truckloads and pipelines. And so we're able to track your revenue. We're able to tie it back to production and the particular month and cycle. So this is a very, very transparent, easily tracked system that's in place. And it assures you and me that although it takes 180 days, that is nothing compared to investing in a self-storage or a multifamily apartment complex or anything else. If I can buy a well with zero capital cost, 100% net income distribution, I've got billion dollar operators managing with full liability, and they're gonna start paying me in six months, and I'm gonna get paid for the next 25 to 75 years, folks, it doesn't get any easier than this. This is a revenue cycle for oil and gas and for mineral ownership, and I'm glad you listened to this presentation. I'm Troy Eckert signing off, thank you. Thank you.